you planning to sow a new pasture and are looking for some independent information on cultivar performance to help you decide your selection? Meat and Livestock Australia, in collaboration with seed companies and Dairy Australia, have collated this information in an online tool called the Pasture Trial Network. This short video steps through how you can use the PTN tool to confidently select pasture cultivars to give you the seasonal production and persistence you're seeking. To access the tool, type key search words such as MLA PTN or Pasture Trial Network into your web browser. Or go to the MLA website and you will find it under the tab with extension, training and tools and then in the tools and calculator section. The data in the PTN is created by independent agronomists and is independent of the seed companies. The name of each variety is hidden and sown alongside other varieties in a replicated and randomised design. Because many different species and varieties with different growth patterns are being evaluated side by side, measurements use a mower to determine dry matter. Trial data including dry matter measurements and persistence is currently collected for three years. This is a short time for those interested in perennial species where persistence over many years is of interest. Fortunately, five-year trials are coming to allow further evaluation of persistence of perennial pasture species. Before using the tool, it is suggested that you have narrowed down the species you are interested in. You can either select Assess Data by Region, Species or Map by hovering over the relevant icon in the page centre. I like to first look at what information is available for my region. It will show you what trials are online. I'm going to select Southwest Vic Lower, Casterden, and then at the results of the Phalaris trial. Before I look at the data, I like to look at the site information as this gives me some information on the rainfall, soil and management and it allows me to compare my paddock's condition to the one where the trial was run. For example, I can see if the Phalaris at Casterden was grown under acidic conditions or if the years were unseasonally wet or dry. Not all trials currently loaded have trial or site information, but will in the future. You can also select to view the trial information. This has lots of insights into what happened during the trial and what was performing well or poorly. If you close the PDF, it takes you back to results. If my intended purpose was to sow something winter active, I would select winter production. The tool moves the winter production to the start and shows which cultivars perform significantly different from each other. You can see the top production performers and you can also see the persistence measurement. To find out what about the data and what it means, select the help button and it provides definitions and explanations about the terms used. You can also view graph and it produces a graph showing average total seasonal production. Print off the results or take some notes. The tool is super easy to use. You shouldn't just base your decision on selecting the top production performers without considering some other factors like rainfall, soil and management, as these will impact on persistence. Remember, this trial data has been collected under mowing conditions, so pastures would be rested, but on your farm, your management might mean the pasture is grazed for longer time periods. So, you might want to select a species with grazing tolerance. There are large numbers of pasture species and varieties available in the market. They promise greater production than the older and familiar varieties. Using the Pasture Variety Trial Network, an online tool can show you those comparisons so you can confidently pick a cultivar that gives you the production you're after. If you are still unsure, then discuss your needs with your local advisor and find out what grows well in your district or check out MLA's new Profitable Grazing Systems course called Sowing for Success on their website.